Uh, moving into produce, again, I've told you my just my personal recommendation. Always, 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 if you're going to buy one thing organic, my recommendation would be spinach and lettuce. Guys, they are in the news all the time. Even organic spinach has been contaminated before. So really, I mean, look at how many leaves are there. Do you know how long it's going to take you to thoroughly wash? I thoroughly wash even organic spinach, but it's a lot easier to wash a carrot or peel it than it is to wash every single leaf of spinach if you're not buying organic. Buy organic and recycle. Always recycle the packaging. Um, here we have some ground turkey. And I'm very lucky to live near where Stop and Shop, and Stop and Shop has a great store brand called Nature's Promise. Um, they do a lot of great um, products that I love. I buy all my bacon through that brand. Um, all natural, fed a veggie diet, no antibiotics, no hormones. You know, it's not the best. Best would be, I know, a farmer who sells turkey. But I don't right now, so this is the second best. We've talked about the good, better, and best options. Um, and here you have, again, grapes are on the Dirty Dozen list. So I do buy organic grapes. And I do try to buy always organic apples because they're number two on the list, right under peaches. Um, so I, I do just encourage you, if you can, if you're going to buy certain fruits all the time from the Dirty Dozen list, try to switch them over to organic. Um, but you're going to see, again, carrots are not on the top 12. So we, we love baby carrots here, and I used this for soup the other day. Um, I don't buy organic carrots right now. I love to when they're on sale. Believe me, I buy them when they're on sale, but right now I don't choose to spend my $2 for that. Um, and here... Sorry, a lot of these are in Ziploc. I just have chives and I don't even know what else I have in here. Some broccoli. Um, I don't know why I showed you that. Sorry. Here's that Nature's Promise bread that I buy. Uh, I and again, I look for it on sale a lot. Two fifty or less, I'll buy it. And if it's under a dollar or under two dollars, I usually stock up. Um, again, one hundred percent all natural. There's no refined sugars. You can see right there, no refined sugars, um, and it's whole grains. So that's you know. Uh, a good option for my family right now. Um, here's my pastured eggs. I'm going to cover up the um, address just because I'm not comfortable with people knowing where I live. But again, if you're local, feel free to ask. Pasture raised eggs. Um, I did tell you my son does not currently eat yogurt right now, but I do buy Sony Field yogurt every so often just to see if he's coming back around. So far, he's not come back around on yogurt, but I'm still trying. Um, and here you have some leftovers. Again, I haven't switched over my cheeses to organic yet. I haven't ever actually even seen organic feta. And I really can't imagine a world without feta cheese. I just can't. I am obsessed with it. Um, I love it on salads, clearly. I've used it in entrees. And also, uh, sometimes in the morning, I'll just scramble some veggies, a little bit of butter on the stove, add scrambled eggs in. Or, I'm sorry, saute some veggies in butter on the stove, scramble in some eggs, and then sprinkle feta on top. Oh, my word, it's so good. Um, and then here we just have leftover tortilla. This is a cinnamon bread that I made for my husband um, to take to work in the morning. Great. Um, this is some cornbread that I tried the other day that I actually made with bacon fat instead of oil. It, uh, I'd have to experiment a little bit more. It came out a little bit dry, but um, not bad overall. So you can substitute saturated fat for... Um, oils and recipes. So here is my cheese drawer. Um, again, this is the... I buy Natural Choice No Preservatives Ham because I just love it sometimes in eggs or um, like egg sandwich. That's usually when I like to have it. Not the best choice. The best choice would be, um, you know, free-range pigs. But again, I haven't seen that anywhere, so this is what we go with right now. Um, and this is my block of Parmesan that I bought. Thank you, Erin C. You know who you are. Uh, after she encouraged me to stop um, buying uh, powdered Parmesan. So, And you know what? Again, I will fully admit cheese is where I don't. I kind of fall short. Um, none of this is organic. Uh, I do... I did buy reduced fat, and I told you not to buy reduced fat cheeses if they have extra fillers in it. I compared the ingredients between the reduced fat and the full fat cheddar at the store, and they have the exact same ingredients. So in that case, because remember what I told you, according to Jillian Michaels, who I feel like is pretty reputable, the fat, the pesticides of an animal reside in the fat of the animal. So if you have similar ingredients, and one is reduced fat and one is full fat, then I would go with the reduced fat choice, if that makes sense. Um, 
and yes, I have American cheese, but I buy reduced fat for that because I've uh, looked at the ingredients once. My son loves, loves, loves grilled cheese, so I give him American cheese on whole wheat bread, and I put little pieces of spinach in it. Definitely a contradiction in terms, probably, but that's the way we roll here. Um, here's my organic half and half, and definitely not going to lie, not going to hold out on you. I love, you can see it's half gone, <laughs> my Natural Bliss Creamer. I gave up flavored creamers for like, gosh, like a year and a half, and they came out with this. And um, I am not a coffee person, a big coffee person. I don't drink nearly a cup a day. I probably drink three cups a week. So again, if I was drinking probably five cups a day of coffee, I would be sticking with organic half and half, you know, for four and letting myself have one treat. But this is maybe a three times a week treat, and it's only a couple tablespoons, at a, maybe two tablespoons at a time. So I kind of let it slide. Um, and this is not wine actually decaf coffee from last night with a social worker. I made a whole bunch and we didn't drink it all, so now I have iced coffee. Here's just leftovers. Brown uh, rice and black beans um, with spinach and peppers mixed in. That's my son. He likes to eat that. Um, and what is this in my fridge? The girl who told you to never, 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 never buy. <laughs> that I couldn't even recommend regular milk. Well, you know what? I My husband lives with me, too. And he hates, hates the taste of organic whole milk. He despises it. And I keep telling him, honey, you like the taste of chemical milk. And he laughs and he knows. Believe me, he could tell you on a piece of paper, I know I should not be drinking this, but he does. So he is weaning himself off of the whole milk. <laughs> what a dumb thing to say out loud. But he is. So in the morning, uh, my husband likes to take... Um, he likes to take breakfast and milk to work. He eats in the car because he leaves so early. So he mixes half of the organic whole milk with half of the Gorilla whole milk. Um, and that's just, I just kind of have to accept what I can get right now and accept that that's his preference. And he's a grown man and he knows how I feel. So uh, that's, yeah, a little bit of an issue in our house. But, but again, I do love Sony Field products. They're based in New Hampshire, so that's local for us. And I love that they advertise that they pasture their cows. So anytime I can buy Sony Field, I do. Absolutely do. And to keep this from being a 20-minute video, I'm going to give you a 1 minute and 30 second tour of my fridge. Here's my fridge, okay? And you're going to see I have bread crust left over here for when I make my bread crumbs. Uh, I just keep them frozen. Here's my flaxseed. I do keep that in the freezer. A lady at the health food store told me to do that, and I've done it ever since. I use flaxseed every single time I bake. It's a hot commodity in this house. Got some frozen bananas, frozen pumpkin, um, frozen, I saved the frozen tortilla balls after I made tortillas last time. I want to see how they come out if I pre-roll them into balls and then just thaw them out later. So I'll have to let you know. I can put an update on that post. Here's some soups that I made and I just froze them flat um, just to help with storage. I do keep Kashi pre-made products in the fridge just for nights when I'm really crushed for time. So here's some um, pizzas. And also, I'll pick them up if they're on sale, just for me, um, just if there's a day when I've given all my leftovers to my husband at work. Um, I do try to avoid, even Kashi, though, I try to avoid the ones with meat in them because the meat says nothing on there about how it's raised. Um, so I, I just try to avoid that. So I go with vegetarian, both with the pizza and if I'm going to buy myself uh, a lunch treat. This is so sad that Kashi is my treat, but that's how it is. Um, and actually, these two I've never tried. I wanted to try two new ones. I usually buy um, uh, two other ones that their names are escaping me right now. But um, anyway, so that's that. And then I have to, I didn't put this on my breads and grains toast, but I eat Ezekiel bread for toast in the morning, and I love it. It's sprouted grains, which are really, really good for you. You can kind of see 100% whole grain bread, um, low glycemic index. Um, organic grains. It's delicious. It takes a while to get used to, though. It's, I think it's an acquired taste. Um, but, oh my word, this video is getting really long. I'm sorry, I'm trying. I just want to say, too, I love having baskets in my freezer. I never would have thought to do that. But my friend Linda, um, from when I was in college, she and her husband mentored Chris and I, and she had baskets in her freezer and fridge, and I thought that was so clever. So thank you, Linda, if you're watching this. I have always had baskets in my freezer, thanks to you. Um, and so I just kind of categorized them by meat, and this was, I was so excited to find these the other day when I went to a local food co-op. These are hot dogs, people. They are the best hot dogs you have ever had in your life. They are a pretty penny. They just have beef, water, salt, dextrose, which is, I think, um, 
gosh, I forgot what dextrose is. I think it's a natural thing that comes from a plant that thickens it a little bit and spices. But please don't quote me on that. Um, but it's from a local farm. And you know what? I see that? $8 for hot dogs. But guys, this goes to show you <laughs> the $1.99 on sale hot dogs are probably not made with good meat for you. In fact, I can promise you that they're not. Um, and then this one has more meat in there. And then up here, I just keep my veggies, and I have Alexia sweet potato fries, which I'm obsessed with. I like them as a snack. Um, I started buying, I'm sorry, this is getting a little hairy. Ooh, there we go. I started buying exclusively organic corn um, because of the whole genetically modified issue. Basically, every um, kernel of corn <laughs> in this country right now, I feel like, unless it says it's organic or exclusively, explicitly says not genetically modified, you can basically count on it that it is. So I have been buying organic corn. Um, so yeah. Um, and then you know what? We're human. We have treats. Me and my husband are big ice cream people. This is Ben and Jerry's. Everybody knows Ben and Jerry's. Half-baked. I remember having this in high school pretty much and I think I could eat the whole, you know, pint and not gain a pound. Those days are long over. But you know what, there's a couple not so great things in here. Uh, overall, it's not that bad, and I do like how they use um, Exceller pressed oils. That's kind of a nice thing. But you know, it's a treat again, guys. I do love, love, love the Stonyfield um, chocolate frozen yogurt, but um, I just, I keep forgetting to buy that, actually, to be perfectly honest, because I switch grocery stores, and it must be in a new place, because I haven't seen it at the new spot. But I also highly recommend Stonyfield. Uh, it's called After Dark Chocolate Frozen Yogurt. It's also delicious. And then in here, you can see um, one package of meat. That is from my husband's uncle. Um, so we, it comes in like that butcher, old school butcher paper. Okay, guys. So... I'm going to turn this around. I have no idea if it's going to hit my head because, well, no, I'm just going to end here. That's my tour <laughs> of my fridge and my freezer. I didn't even get to show you my deep freezer, but um, I wanted to cut this down because this is a really long video, and I'm sorry. Maybe you can watch it in segments. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the products that I use on a daily basis, and maybe I will do another one of these in the future, like for my pantry items. We'll have to see. Anyway, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye.